2.45, don't let me forget. I've taken my hat off and I recently shaved my head. It's freaking me out to see myself this way. Let's go ride Tron. <laughs> This might be the worst idea we've ever had, or the best. We're doing a perfect day in Magic Kingdom in reverse to see if the opposite of perfect in Disney World is tragic or surprisingly magic. Let's go. It's 10 a.m. and we're just arriving at TTC via the rideshare drop-off. Magic Kingdom opened to resort guests this morning at 7.30 a.m. That's already two and a half hours ago. It opened to the general public at 8 a.m. That's two hours ago. And we're gonna see what it looks like when you sleep in and arrive at Magic Kingdom two hours later than you were allowed to. Well, it took us three minutes, all of three minutes to get through security, which is faster definitely than it would be if we were here earlier when everyone else was trying to rope drop. I look at this and say, wow, this line is really super short. This is like a monorail and a half worth of people, maybe two. And we'll be making our way all the way down to gate 12. Don't worry if people stop and obstruct the walkway before you make it there. There is a cast member this morning directing people to uh, go along the gate here, and that is great. Gate 12 helps us exit the monorail and arrive at the front gate before anyone else. It's not cheating, it's just knowing the trick. And in just 22 minutes, from arriving at the TTC to stepping off here at the Magic Kingdom station, we are the first down the stairs, and no one else except the nice people that were on <laughs> car number 12 with us uh, knows to do that, and you know to do that. So remember, please remember that trick. It's reverse because we didn't rope drop. It's reverse because we slept in, but I'm liking the way these crowds at the gate look. And we've made it to Main Street. Here we are. Now, what ride are we not rope dropping? <laughs> We're not rope dropping Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. That would, of course, almost always be our strategy. But, or purchasing an individual lightning lane for it, but we're not doing that either. We're not buying Genie Plus. We're not purchasing any individual lightning lane reservations. We didn't wake up this morning at 7 a.m. and book uh, a spot in the virtual queue for Tron. We're gonna have to do that at 1 p.m. Try our luck and hope we get it. These clouds are a little ominous, I have to say. This is the only pack I brought. It's a little fanny pack and there is not a poncho in there. So on reverse perfect day, if it rains like it's starting to, um, we take cover or we just get wet. But don't run. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess um, run if you really have to. <laughs> Starting the day by getting wet and then we'll probably be wet all day and we're gonna feel great. Cinderella Castle. Ta-da, we are starting our day not rope dropping. And I don't see a posted wait time for it. It looks like it might be down. <laughs> Mad tea party. Well, this is what we planned on rope dropping. All right, well, I was told by cast members they are having technical difficulties. The ride is down and they hope to have it up sometime today. So, walking in the rain once more, not riding our first ride of choice, going in the in the specific order that the actual perfect day here in Magic Kingdom followed. So we're gonna go to the next one and come back. So already this reverse perfect day, it's even reversing the reverse. We're switching these numbers around and that is because Cinderella Castle, I mean, here's Dumbo. Let's just, let's just do this and let's, 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 we're, we're here, we're at Dumbo, let's ride it. So this ride used to be right next to Cinderella Castle and uh, the carousel, Prince Charming Regal Carousel, which used to be called something else. And um, it was moved when this expansion occurred, the uh, expansion known as New Fantasyland, which 
Um, it's not that new anymore, but um, it's still fun to call it that. And they doubled it. There's now two Dumbo rides um, instead of one, which cuts. If the weather worsens, we may have to close this ride without warning due to lack of rain. We will, however, continue our flights as long as possible. They may be closing this ride. This is truly a reverse perfect day. There is an amazing Dumbo playground in here. This really is amazing. Uh, if you have small kids who are appropriate for this zone. I'd like to make an announcement that I will accept any color combination. And in 26 minutes, I am on. I am <laughs> strapped in. Here we go. <laughs> Twenty-six minutes, not forty minutes, and Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Check. What is it saying? Fifty? Is it saying five zero minutes for Barnstormer? Oh, is it one of those days? It's the opposite perfect day. <laughs> it says five zero minutes. So uh, I'm I'm getting in this queue. So when Quincy, Emma, and Fry Bucket followed this itinerary, they were doing all of the rides that we we're doing first. Last. They started with the big rides and we are doing that in complete reverse because this is the reverse perfect day and that's the way it goes. Now, I don't want to completely spoil the rest of the video for you, but I will tell you. So the ride that... Oh my God. See you later. Another train goes by. 21 minutes and we've been led into the next second part of the queue. <laughs> and at 27 minutes, not 50, uh, our ride vehicle has arrived, the door is open, and uh, we are boarding the last row. I just checked the My Disney Experience app and Mad Tea Party is still down. So I won't be taking a left. Let's go to the right and ride Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid. Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid is a traditional Disney dark ride, the likes of which we know and love so much. What makes this unique is it's newer so it stays true to the traditions of all of the classics, starting with the rides in Disneyland, but it pluses them up with new technology, creating an experience that truly is thrilling, I think, for a dark ride. I mean, the Ursula animatronic is wild. You'll see. Posted wait time 35. A cast member just said that if you are getting into the queue right now, there's an expected wait of 50 minutes regardless of the posted weight of 35. So the timer is set, we'll see. This is a good experiment. Well, 25 minutes and we're here at the Scuttle animatronic. I think that's a good sign. I don't think it's gonna be 55 zero minutes. I think it will be closer to the 35 that was posted. 37 minutes. Pull down, awesome, thank you. You can never remember where you pull down and where you Please don't pull down on the safety bar. Priority rides because 
This is the opposite of a perfect day. I am going to, I guess, kind of do the opposite of what I normally eat in terms of uh, on camera and when I'm hanging out in the parks and get something I know I should try that I usually don't. I've never had it on camera. I don't think I've eaten one in the park and that's a pickle in a pouch. And I've heard from a cast member, it is the perfect snack when you're in Walt Disney World because it gives you electrolytes with the salts and um, it is filling and sort of hydrating. Pickle in a pouch is one of the least expensive snacks you can get in Disney World. It's $2.29. Uh, the house made chips are only three something, so they're a really great value as well. All right, we have our pickle obtained from Prince Eric's Village Market. Now we're headed to Gaston's Tavern. They actually did not have Coke Zero and they were bottles anyway. And I was like, a bottle of Diet Coke is a lot of things away from what I really like. And she said, uh, why don't you go to Gaston's Tavern? They have Coke Zero on tap. If you can find a spot, it's a really fun place to sit inside. It's very, very themed. As you can see, the portrait of Gaston is here over the fireplace and his, I guess, his hunting throne. Um, you can sit here and take a picture. Here we go. Let's see. Wow, so flavorful. And honestly, it seems less salty than other pickles. I'll tell you how much sodium. Um, it's 260 milligrams, 11%. But I just want to point out that people are over there at the exact same cart, Prince Eric's, ordering turkey legs that are mega sodium bombs. And you know, this is a vegetable. It tastes really good. I mean, I'm not like trying to hype uh, cucumber soaked in salt water. It's a really good, satisfying pickle. Oh, it pairs very nicely with a fountain Coke Zero. I recommend this little, uh, this little experience here for a, a nice meal slash snack. I'm eating my pickle in Magic Kingdom. Well, my alarm just went off. It is 1 p.m. and I just joined the Tron virtual queue. We are in boarding group 145. So even though I didn't wake up at 7 a.m. to join the virtual queue, during the first time it was opened, I am here in Magic Kingdom for the second opening, which happens at 1 p.m. I, and I was lucky enough to, to join. What do you say we stay on our little trend here of Fantasyland Dark Rides? Let's ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, posted wait time 40 minutes. Um, it does look like it will be at least that. This is a ride that I have gotten in the queue and it has ended up being about twice the uh, length of time that was originally posted. So 40, I don't know. I mean, it could be, it could, it's possible it could be less, but I have also had that experience with it. I'm going to set the timer and we'll see for sure. And at 24 minutes, not 40 minutes. Thank you. We are on our way into the book, magically. And Tigger is back there hiding, and it's a little bit scary. continue on with our with our fantasy land theme the uh, carousel is really super long um, but I think we'll get in it and see how long a line that is posted wait time is 25 minutes right now 
Prince Charming Regal Carousel is the oldest ride in Magic Kingdom. This is a real historic carousel. Very much an antique. About the 23 minute mark, we've been let in to select a horse. I don't run to a horse because I like people who have a passionate feeling about one to pick theirs first. This is an, a bench that is available if you are unable to mount one of the horses. Quincy and I sat in that once and it had a wonderful time, but it looks like we are going to pick um, an interior horse that is um, a little easier to mount. This is an adult man <laughs> with a muffin top riding a carousel horse in Walt Disney World in 2024. I'm 42, which is 24 in reverse. So. All right, Prince Charming Regal Carousel was a lovely ride. It is now my desire <laughs> to do a visual check on Mad Tea Party, see if it has reopened. There is a posted wait of 30 minutes right now for Mad Tea Party. Um, it has been shorter everywhere else that we've been today, so. Wow, while I'm stumbling out of Mad Tea Party, Let's come next door to Tomorrowland Speedway. Posted wait times 35 minutes. We'll go ahead and set that timer and see how long it really is. If you're new to all ears, I lived in New York City for 20 years, starting as a teenager. And I just never got my license. And now I feel like I'm too old and scared. Uh, literally the idea of learning and and getting on I-4 here in Florida terrifies me uh, to the point where it's just like an impossibility, basically. There has been some talk internally at all ears about getting me to get my license and sending me on the road in some sort of experiment. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could literally do that. It would definitely require a lot of emotional support from my fellow cast members and from viewers like you. If it's something that you wish to see me do, let us know in the comments below otherwise. These little beauties. These vehicles were designed by Bob Gurr, who got hired by Walt Disney uh, to work on Disneyland. He was just a cool guy who was really into cars and he knew how to build them and rebuild them and fix them. And Walt Disney hired him to, uh, to work on Disneyland. He designed the original Autopia cars there. Uh, he had designed the monorail. I don't know if that's impressive enough. Oh, this is it. I'm not wearing my shades. I, that's probably very dangerous. I don't know, there are rules about wearing sunglasses. You have to wear sunglasses. I don't know, I'll learn if I have to take this driver's test. We'll see. If the world wants me to drive, I guess I'll drive. See, now uh, this is an interesting technique with both of my legs to the right of the steering wheel and only one hand on the wheel, of course, because I'm filming for YouTube, which is, of course, the most important part of this. Uh, now, I won't be doing that when I'm driving a car. Um, I hope I'm not. I put on my shades. I did it. Now I'm a cool guy driving a car. Well, that was a successful trip. <laughs> what would be not a successful trip? If the car broke down, I guess, or if I just never pressed down on the pedal. Um, but we made it back and it was fun. Of uh, getting that opportunity to drive sometimes. I think it's time we stay in the Tomorrowland mood hop in the Astro Orbiter line. Posted wait right now is 45 minutes, but let's see how long it actually takes. Almost exactly 40 minutes. I am 
Once again, the first into the elevator. The posted weight was 40 and we are getting in our rocket at 45, but look at that view of the castle and look at this awesome rocket with your seatbelt oh my gosh keeping your hands arms feet okay. and legs inside come in supervised jumper Woo. pilots para su seguridad that's the hard part actually no the hard part is getting out <laughs> we get to it i am like tipped so far so far in it is Just popping in to say no. Nope, I don't like that. Continue. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and we're back to Earth, but keeping in the futuristic theme here in Tomorrowland, let's go over and ride and experience a true classic created for the 1964 World's Fair in New York. An amazing audio animatronic show about progress. It's the Carousel of Progress, and uh, it's on our list of priority rides, aka the filler rides, according to my castmates. Um, fun fact: This is the original. Uh, theme song, but the Sherman Brothers actually wrote a second theme song for it when it moved from Disneyland here to Magic Kingdom uh, because GE, the sponsor, said we're tired of telling people that the future is going to be great. We want them to think the future is great now and to buy our appliances. So they wrote a new theme song called This is the Best Time of Your Life. Lives? Anyway. It was about this being the best time so that you would be inspired to run out and purchase some GE appliances. But then they did a refurbishment in the earlier 90, like 93 and restored the original theme song. And that is a version we have to this day. The final scene that had been updated during that refurbishment um, got very dated and actually got a little bit of a facelift in the form of new costumes, new wigs for the animatronic actors. Update, I'm still standing. Okay, I'm not sitting down, <laughs> but I am standing at a trash can having my house-made chips at Sleepy Hollow. Uh, order them on mobile order. They were ready almost immediately. I got a Diet Coke to keep me going. I love these so much. On a whim, I just decided to have us check out the Enchanted Tiki Room, which is in our list, on our list of filler experiences. And we walked up just as they started loading the theater. That's good luck. All right, Jose, let's wake up. It's showtime. Oh, when is this thing already my siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people. And welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. The Enchanted Tiki Room, an incredible audio animatronic show that predates the others. It, it opened in 1963, so it was before the World's Fair. The Tiki Birds flew so that great moments with Mr. Lincoln could sit in a chair. What do you say we go experience the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse now? Okay, now we're finally talking. You may proceed. This is a walkthrough attraction. Um, it is not an accessible attraction if you use a wheelchair or ECV, and if you are unable or dislike climbing a lot of stairs, um, which I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I have lived in walk-ups in New York City, and uh, 
it's it's punishing on some days but today we are going to do it together and think of it as a really great leg workout Imagineers are so good at cobwebs we've arrived at the crow's nest here we are, some cool bunk hammocks. The kitchen. Lots of beautiful fresh fruit. Um, and more fresh fruit. It looks like my kind of, uh, my kind of kitchen. Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. If you feel like you can walk all those stairs, it's really fun. I think it's a cool uh, walk through attraction, climb through, I mean, stairs. Honestly, my calves are burning, but it was worth it because it's a classic opening day attraction here in Magic Kingdom. This is the presidents, all of them on stage at one time. And uh, they all move and they all look like humans, the humans that were president. And, um, they do a show for you all day, every day, here in Magic Kingdom in Liberty Square. And here is Mr. Lincoln's bust, which appears to be in something other than clay, but maybe they just painted it. Um, behind him, a painting, an artist rendering of Walt Disney, and I love how big the monogram on his tie is. That's the logo for the Smoke Tree Ranch in Palm Springs, California, which is where Walt would go and vacation. He actually had a house there and uh, spent a lot of time out at Smoke Tree Ranch. It is still open. Um, it is maintained uh, visually uh, very much the, the same or similar to how it was when Walt Disney would go there and relax. So um, if you're interested in a kind of alternative Disney vacation, something about the history, more than, uh, you know, sort of experiencing Walt's own work. Check out Smoke Tree Ranch. Um, it is a goal. It is a bucket list life goal to at least visit it, if not actually stay there. It's expensive, <laughs> but so is Disney World. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. And that notification on the 14th day of April, 1789, that you had selected me to lead our nation. But it was with the confidence of my fellow citizens that I took an oath. 35 simple words that have been repeated by every American president throughout history. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And having just seen Hall of Presidents, that leaves only Magic Carpets of Aladdin in terms of priority attractions today, uh, which means I'm gonna start going on to our filler attractions, our reverse filler attractions, which would normally be our priorities. We're right next door to Haunted Mansion. There is no way we are ending this day without riding Haunted Mansion. So let's do that right now. All right, Haunted Mansion has a posted standby wait of 45 minutes, which is good, not great. 20 minutes and we're going in. <laughs>
Mansion, to me, is spooky in a fun way. It could be spooky in a too scary way for some people, especially if you're afraid of the dark. And if you just don't want to mess with the idea of ghosts in general, <laughs> which I understand. I know some people like that. Um, we got called. Our, our boarding group got called on Tron while we were on Haunted Mansion. So we're going to cross the park now, head back to Tomorrowland. And we're going to ride Tron. And it's the perfect time of day to ride it. We are very lucky. All right, it's currently 7.55 p.m. The fireworks tonight are at 8.30. So we are going to definitely be skipping the fireworks. Um, we will be using that time to ride other things, uh, preferably Seven Doors Mine Train. This sign is new to me, but it's important. And let's read it together. The seating and restraints on this attraction may prohibit guests of certain body shapes or sizes from riding. Please try the seat to confirm your ability to ride. See a cast member for assistance. And over here are the test seats, and you can see people are trying them out right now, and they feel uh, they feel different, different from anything I've ever uh, written on before. Uh, definitely close to Flight of Passage, but not in any way actually the same. <laughs> um, it's a cycle, but this one you're basically laying on your stomach, and then it's also a roller coaster, so. All the all the all the cool things. We are in. We are in like Flynn Ryder. You should be free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or knee problems. You should be free from motion sickness. Taking us 23 minutes for it to be our time to lock her up. This one looks lonely and nice. 245. What's wrong with this locker? Nothing. It's for us. 245. Don't let me forget. I've taken my hat off and I recently shaved my head. It's freaking me out to see myself this way. Let's go ride Tron! <laughs> you have to take your hat off. They make you. Note to parents. In the short time that I've been here waiting to load the ride, two trains um, have loaded and both of them have had a child that as soon as the restraint came onto their back, closed onto their back, they, uh, they started to freak. And there's a girl freaking right now and her parents are saying, go, 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 go. Maybe, maybe, maybe have this conversation at a time and test the test seat because it feels it feels freaky to have it closed on your back. have been more beautiful at night with the canopy fully lit up and uh, not having to see the person in front of you bent forward. Uh, sitting in the front is definitely the best on this ride and, uh, and doing it at night is definitely the best. So reverse perfect day, you came through. Don't be disoriented. It's gonna look different on this side because it is, uh, it is the other side, it's the opposite side. So you've got to remember the number because you won't know it visually. All right, we have the Space Mountain entrance. This is the standby line over here. The lightning lane's looking very long. It's a posted wait of 90 minutes. Um, usually, 
When they say that, I feel like they mean it. If it is 90 minutes, it will give us enough time at least to ride Seven Dwarfs Mine Train right after. This is not look looking a lot like 90 minutes to me. We have not stopped. And we were picked out of the crowd for the single rider, which means we are fast tracking right now to ride Space Mountain. And, oh my gosh, that was 11 minutes. We just need to have a moment with you where we connect on the fact that you were quoted a 90 minute standby wait and we waited in line for 11 minutes and we were pulled out of line to go as a single rider and it took us 11 minutes. It took us 11 minutes to, to ride Space Mountain. Incredible. Posted wait time of 90 minutes. It's a huge difference. It was of course because I'm a single rider, but if you want to break up and announce yourselves as single riders and not sit together, you won't get the cool photo, but you'll get to ride faster. All right, Peter Pan's flight has a posted wait time of 75 minutes, which is a little shorter than it was right before the fireworks. So I guess a lot of people, or some people, people let probably went back to their resort or went home. Um, what we experienced at Space Mountain was extraordinary. So I'm gonna hope something like that happens. There's not gonna be a single writer miracle at Peter Pan's flight, but there could just be a general wait times miracle, uh, and that would be great. I would love to get Peter Pan uh, cross the street and get It's a Small World, and then probably by that point finish the night at Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. But we'll see, maybe we'll breeze through these and make our way back over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad or Pirates of the Caribbean. But we wanna make sure we don't get stuck in a queue and miss the closing of the park because we really have to get Seven Dwarfs Mine Train since that is a ride you can purchase uh, an individual Lightning Lane reservation for. It is a super premium right alongside Tron, maybe the most super premium ride in Magic Kingdom. Yep, still 75. All right, we're doing it, we're getting in the queue. And this looks like we're, we're moving pretty, pretty fast here too. I haven't stopped yet. So this is looking, this is looking promising. Honestly, the interactive queue here is like one of the most magical things in Magic Kingdom, in my opinion. It's amazing how you can interact with butterflies and bells, with the shadow there, and then Tinkerbell. Thirty-six minutes, and here we are boarding our pirate ship. I mean, my gosh, the posted weight was seventy-five. Less than half the posted wait times. Amazing, thank you. Peter Pan's flight is such a unique flying dark ride. Well, I guess it was totally unique until E.T. opened in the 80s over at Universal. But still, I mean, it's, it's amazing that that was an innovation that occurred in 
Disneyland with the opening of Disneyland in the 50s. People were flying around in the air on a dark ride. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, let's go from air to sea to, to, the, to the great ocean of It's a Small World. <laughs> um, I'm playing with fire a little bit jumping on this right now if it stops if we get delayed for any reason we will not make seven dwarfs mine train i see it's a posted wait time right now of five minutes so we're i think we're okay <laughs> Space Ranger spin in Tomorrowland, and I just feel like I think we've been really lucky, and I don't think we should press our luck. I think we should get in line for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train now. I did just check, and there is a 20-minute posted wait for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. Um, that's exactly how long we have uh, before the park closes. I don't think it's worth risking it. Plus we have interesting science to do because the posted standby wait right now for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is 75 minutes. And I don't think it can be that long, but we'll see. Magic Kingdom is closed. So everything that happens from now on is bonus. At 30 minutes, not 70, we're on. experience riding Seven Dwarfs Mine Train at night. There's something about diving into the abyss. It's a dimly lit coaster at night <laughs> and you really are not seeing where you're going a, a lot of the time and I think it's very fun and cool. It was really smooth the ride and it was really there was a lot of whip because I was in the back row and it was fun going into pitch darkness. It's a new recommendation. End of the night. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome ride. Wow. Let's talk about this reverse perfect day. It was weird, but it was kind of cool. Honestly, what did I love about it? The fact that we got to sleep in. That was really nice. And we got to arrive at TTZ two hours after rope drop and we still did so many rides and attractions. 17 rides and attractions in total, which is amazing. We got 
on Tron, okay? We were able to join the virtual queue at the 1 p.m. slot, which was great to know that, that that was possible. I was a single person. Maybe it was harder for groups of a higher number, but it was an amazing thing to experience today and get to ride that despite not having been awake at 7 a.m. to book a spot in that virtual queue. We've saved $39. That's the cost of Genie Plus today. We had no individual Lightning Lane reservations, and yet we were able to ride 17, ride and experience 17 rides and attractions during spring break. So it was a, definitely a busy day. <laughs> we were paying a premium price for Genie Plus today, and we were competing with a lot of people for those standby queues, and we still got a ton done. And most of the rides came in way, way, way under what was posted as the wait time outside of the ride. When we actually set a timer and got in the queue, we got through those lines a lot faster than what was originally posted, which is amazing. Now, go watch us turn Magic Kingdom into a giant game of trouble. And I do mean trouble. I like it, it's fun, it was exciting.